get ready. You're about to come face to face with the largest fish in the sea. To appreciate what's at stake in the race against extinction, sometimes you have to look a creature in the eye and connect with it. Marine biologist Luke Tipple is here to help us do just that. A whale shark can reach up to 50 feet in length and weigh over 20 tons. My heart was pounding the first time I got in the water with these graceful behemoths. And not from fear, but excitement. The reality is they have far more to fear from us than we do from them. Hunting for their meat, liver oil, and fins have reduced their numbers to the point where they were recently reclassified as an endangered species. Their large size and slow reproductive rate make them especially vulnerable to exploitation. Whale sharks are highly migratory, meaning they travel all over the globe. I once tagged a pregnant female who covered over 5,000 miles in a six month period. That's incredible. But it means the whale shark you're seeing here today could end up being killed in another country next year. That's why it's so important we understand their migratory patterns and inspire people everywhere to protect them. Oh, don't forget to look behind you. If you see an animal the size of a bus cruising toward you, just remember, whale sharks are filter feeders. That means they only eat plankton and tiny fish. Their throats just aren't big enough to swallow larger objects like us. These awe-inspiring creatures are thought to be solitary, but it's not uncommon to see dozens of them feeding on plankton blooms that form when large amounts of microscopic plants float in the upper layers of the ocean. Unlike most fish which lay eggs, a female whale shark produces eggs that hatch inside her body. Then she gives birth to up to 300 live offspring called pups. Not many make it to adulthood, but the ones that do can live up to 100 years. If they manage to survive unregulated fishing, vessel strikes, and the illegal trade of their body parts. Sadly, over the last 75 years, whale shark numbers have been cut in half. But there is some great news in all this. Many former shark hunting communities have recognized that whale sharks are worth far more alive than dead. One ex-shark hunter told me that switching to whale shark ecotourism has tripled his income. It's a win for everyone because it offers a sustainable revenue source for his entire community and increases the awareness needed to protect these animals. The health of the oceans and our planet depends on finding more solutions to protect charismatic megafauna like whale sharks. Conservation isn't just a one-time thing, it's a way of life. I hope you'll get involved and find out what you can do to make a difference. This is complex stuff, but you're doing great so far. Let's review with a game of trivia before we head out on our next mission.